My baby took a bite of a rusty screw. The screw that holds the base of the toilet onto the floor. It was crumbly and slimy. I got some crumbles out of his mouth but probably not all. Is tetanus an issue? Hep B? Something else? Hi there. Tetanus is usually transmitted through breaks in the skin. Hep B is usually transmitted through exposure to blood or body fluids. Most babies are vaccinated against these infections by six months. Is he up to date on his shots? A little behind due to illness. He has an 2 DTP and one Hep B shot. So he should have at least partial immunity to both. Smile. And the risk would be very low anyway. A little behind due to illness. He has had two DTP and one Hep B shot. There may have been bacteria and rust, iron oxide, in the particles he got in his mouth, but saliva does have some antibacterial properties, and the iron level from this would be extremely low. Both would pass into the highly acidic stomach, which adds another layer of protection against bacteria. Just keep an eye on his mouth over the next two days, to look for any signs of redness or inflammation in the mucous membranes. Have him seen by his pediatrician if he develops any signs of infection such as redness or diarrhea or fever. These are all unlikely dot but things to keep in the back of your mind. Smile. Will these things be obvious? It sounds a little vague. And what would those be symptoms of? There's nothing vague about painful infected gums, diarrhea or fever. Smile. You will know right away. He may stop eating or interacting normally as well. Okay. Should I save the screw for any type of testing? Is that helpful? You could hang on to it for a couple days just in case, but again. If he is a healthy, sturdy little guy, he will likely do fine. These things are usually much harder on the parents. And I say that from lots of experience. Smile. Babies explore the world with their mouths. Both the good and the bad. They are equipped to do so. Super hard on the parent. I think he is making a career out of eating the most bizarre things. The more I try to discourage him the more he seems to want to do it. It is fine at our house but then this stuff happens elsewhere where I can't childproof 100%. When my daughter was about that age, she put a clump of dried dog poo in her mouth dot and survived to blush about it every time her parents tell the story. Smile. Well I hope he survives. And blushes. I hope it makes up for all the gray hair and many heart attacks. I knew having a baby would be hard but I did not anticipate this kind of hard. Good thing he is cute. That's why they are so cute at that age. So that we will stare at them all day and watch them get into mischief and protect them from danger. Nature is very smart. You will never regret it. Even when he turns into a teenager. Smile. Please don't scare me with the word teenager. It makes me hyperventilate. Other than that, you have excellent bedside manner. Smile most doctors are not so nice and respectful. I was expecting a lecture about vaccines and child-proofing. 
not at all. Every parent finds his or her own way. And the end result is usually pretty good. Every caring parent that is. And you are obviously very caring, or you would not be online researching this. I care a lot. Who knew what that would feel like? I will keep an eye out for symptoms. Thank you. You're welcome. Follow up anytime. Our chat has ended, but you can still continue to ask me questions here until you are satisfied with your answer. Come back to this page to view our conversation and any other new information. What happens now? Or, you can reply to me using the box below. Hi there. You sounded thankful for my assistance, but I did not hear back from you. Please provide a rating, as this is how we get compensated for our time and expertise, and is the only way we can measure the good faith of our customers. Something that good mothers everywhere value and hopefully model for their children. God bless. If you have a health question and want to chat with a doctor now, visit justanswer.com slash yt health.